Eldridge sewing machines, like this 1929 two spool, are attractive, well-made machines that are good additions to any collection. One problem with these machines, as with all vintage machines, is that if you're lucky enough to find a manual, they're not always easy to understand, particularly when it comes to how to thread the machine. That's what this video is going to cover, how to thread a two spool, and later on, how to thread an 1890s vibrating shuttle type Eldridge. Let's get started with the two spool. To thread the upper part of the machine, bring the thread from the spool over and through the little notch in this ring, the notch opening is on the left, bring it straight down and go once clockwise around the thread tensioner, bring it down underneath this hook and then through this little spring right there, this can be tricky, a pair of tweezers will help you with that, bring it through the other side of this loop, up through the take up arm down through this large thread guide. It's open at this end so you can just slide the thread against the end plate and it'll snap in here. Bring the thread straight down and thread the needle from left to right. Now if you have the manual it's going to have a picture explaining that you're supposed to thread it from left to right. But if you read the caption, it says to thread from right to left. The caption is wrong. You want to go from left to right. Let's take out the spool and see how we thread that. To remove the spool, slide open the cover plate, reach in, and that'll just pivot down. Pull it straight out. And that's your canister. And by the way, before you ever buy a two spool, make sure it comes with a canister. These canisters are the rarest of all sewing machine products to find. If you don't have a machine with one of these, it's probably never going to be usable. And you have to be sure that it's the one that goes with this machine because there's two or three different versions of these and they have to mate with the right machine. Let's go see how to put the spool of thread into this. Holding the bobbin with the thread coming off the top, place it in the bobbin canister, hold it so it doesn't turn, and then bring the thread down into this slot, and up like that. Bring it over through this little hook and then pull it down holding the spool so it doesn't turn until it snaps in like that. To reinsert the spool make sure that this flat is positioned at about five o'clock. Slide it back into the hole and lock it back in place and you're ready to go. After bringing the bottom thread up in the usual way, just like any other machine, it's important that the two threads are quite a bit longer than in other machines because the spool is so large that as the thread is stretched to get around it, it's very easy for it to pull out of the needle. So have at least eight inches or so of thread hanging out the end. Make sure they're pulled straight back. Position your material. And drop your presser foot and you're good to go. Although this vibrating shuttle Eldridge is from the 1890s and therefore almost half a century older than the two spool, it threads almost identically to the two spool. Let's look at how. Just like as with the two spool, bring the thread from the spool over and through the opening on the left, this little hook, bring it down the right hand side, down to the tensioner one loop clockwise, bring it down, 
underneath this hook and you have to make sure that it goes through this little wire spring right here. Up to the take up arm, through the take up arm from right to left, down through this thread guide and here's where it's a little different. There's a second thread guide right at the top of the needle holder. You want It's open in the front here. You want to bring the thread around, clip it through and then bring it down and again thread the needle from left to right. And by the way, both machines use 20 by 1 needles. To remove the shuttle, slide the plate forward, press down on its nose to bring the back end up and pull it out. Once you have the bobbin wound, hold it so that the thread is coming off the top. Slide it into the shuttle and holding the end, bring the thread through this slot, down around the leaf spring and pull it quite tight until you hear it snap. and slip into this little groove. And bring the thread out and you're good to go. If you need to tighten or loosen the thread tension in the shuttle, tighten or loosen this little screw using a jeweler's screwdriver to get whatever tension you want. To reinsert it, Make sure you have the flat facing the left. Drop the nose in first and slide the back in. Put your thread in, slide your covered plate back in place, and you're ready to go. If you have an Eldridge sewing machine, I hope this video helps you get it threaded and sewing. If you'd like to see all the other machines in our collection, please visit waynesthisandthat.com and look for the antique sewing machine link. Thanks for watching.